Hey there everyone, this is Darkstead and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Today, I noticed something. I, uh, you know, I, I have a cold that I caught from my mother and my throat has not been hurting like when I lose my voice. That, that's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, my defenses are not working. Damn it, there's no time to screw around. I use my Tempest strategy. You will suffer dearly, humans. Will I? Please enter the password. It's either Tempest or Zed. I'm gonna try Tempest. <laughs> because that's the most stupid thing Zed will do. <laughs> you fools! That thing will open to any password. Does your pea-sized brain hurt? Really? No, that's just insulting. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, like my throat doesn't hurt. Like I'm not losing my voice. Like, un like it only hurts because of the cold. Please, my lord Siegfried, let me in. They are already here. I need to psych myself up before I fight them. Okay. Thank you for opening the door to me. There is a low rumbling sound. It must be a huge machine. Do you want to go in? Sure! Maybe I should eat up Cecilia's mana. Oh well. You pesky maggots are getting in the way of my career! You will be condemned to death without appeal! This is the power of the immortal reborn. A gift from Halazad. Here we go! Get back! This isn't your caliber, you squirmy snake! Lord Siegfried? We can't have you running around messing things up anymore. We need to acquire this wall for settlement. With Hayada's gone, we need a new home. Cut the crap, you can't fool me. You betrayed your mother because you wanted to become the, ult the ultimate ruler, right? Say what you will. I like it here on Filgaia, and I will become the ruler. Exterminate the humans so we demons can rule both heaven and earth. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, we're fighting Siegfried. The magical spear, Glumzamber, will skewer you. Alright. Alright. Oh, no more rocket launcher. Alright, let's do something. I'm gonna equip Rudy with the force unit again. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to give him a bullet clip to his uh, rocket launcher. Then, with Jack, I'm gonna... Uh, Siegfried as a shadow. Let's try this. You know, why not? <laughs> uh, with Cecilia, I'm gonna quick her again. Shadowbind! Ah, But Siegfried has a shadow! Oh well. What can I do about that? Quick! Cecilia! Zeke Impulse! Does that hurt? Nah, doesn't. Alright, Rudy has his force now. Uh, because of the, of the thing. Uh, rocket launcher! Whee! So, Magnum Fang. Ah, darn, what have I done? I had exactly enough mana for two Magnum Fangs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna Magic Carrot myself. I'm gonna High Shield to make sure I uh, get less damage from Siegfried. I'm gonna use it once again after that. Then I'm gonna Hyper Jack. Negative Rainbow? No! Ow! That hurts. That hurts a lot. So yeah, should I hyperjack now or should I hyperjack next turn? I'm gonna hyperjack next turn. Yeah, that makes sense. Rudy is low on HP, but uh, boosting his defense would help. I shield again. I uh, maybe 
Yeah, no, next turn I will have to heal, so the turn after that, I'm gonna use Hyper. That's a lot of thinking, you know, like... I need to strategize, otherwise I'm gonna die. Negative Rainbow! Hopefully, that's not gonna kill me. Uh, ugh, I'm, I'm alive. With not much, but I'm alive. Alright, let's equip the Talisman again. And then let's... Uh, force it up. Uh, arm lock on, rocket launcher, I got plenty with Rudy. So you see the fourth unit is really good. Uh, with Cecilia, I'm gonna Mystic uh, Potion Berry. This might not be enough, actually. No, I don't want to waste a Mega Berry. Yeah, Mystic Potion Berry. That should be good. Mystic Potion Berry! Heal on everyone! Yeah, it tells and he hits for 900, so I'm fine. I'm fine. Whoa, he hit more than a thousand on Rudy. That's bad. But luckily, I got the talisman, so that's good. So why, what? Uh, I, do I need like super magic defense? Cause I don't have that. I I don't. I only have ice shield. Hmm. Uh, rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. My HP is low. Oi, 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 oi. All right. Let's try Remedy. Maybe it will heal more than the ill berries. Hopefully it will heal more than the ill berries. Maybe I did a mistake. I did a mistake. Glugzamberg or something like that. Ouch. Maybe I did not make a mistake because he did a mistake. <laughs> I got lucky. By the way, Siegfried had a, uh, a Soul Edge spear before Soul Edge uh, happened, I think. What was this game before Soul Edge? I forget. I really forget. Oh no! Rocket launcher. Magnum Fang. And uh, I need to heal again. So I'm gonna Mystic Potion Berry because it's better than what Cecilia does. Oh, maybe I should re-equip the book on Cecilia. What a dummy dum dum am I? Yeah, the book will definitely make Cecilia's eel way stronger. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna try this next turn. Uh, unless he dies, of course, because Jack and Rudy are strong. Strong, I say. Okay. Uh, force. Lock on. Rocket. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I almost did the Dum Dum! Elder Scrolls! Alright! Now I need to force Arm Lock on, Rocket Launcher, Sonic Vision, and try Remedy again. Wow, Cecilia's MP is really low. I'm not doing fine right now. He is dead. I am doing fine right now. Anyways. Humans can't have our uh, can't have powers equal to ours. It's impossible. I knew the guardians were involved. I will not let them ruin my plans. Five thousand XP. Whee! All right. One of my favorite part of the game. Do you think you've won again? Uh, do you think you've won? Think again. My dream and aspiration have just begun. Round two. Turn the generator on, Zed. Output at 200%. You can do that, my lord. It's going to overload. No, that will create a... Yes, a black hole. Right in this room. I knew it. What should I do? Don't know what you're trying to do, but you've lost. Surrender. Surrender? Me? Ha 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 ha. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to activate the generator. Everyone here will be sucked into a dimension gap. Of course, I will be sucked as well. But I will recover because I am the ultimate ruler of this world. I will never die here. I don't know what he's talking about, but here goes nothing. Whoa! No way! He grappled me! Rudy! Alright, my lord, we'll see what happens. Why did he grapple Rudy? Why? Why? 
That that's Rudy. That's Rudy's arms. That's not yours. Give me Rudy's arm back. No way to escape. What are you going to do? You're going on a trip with me to the vortex. And he cannot cut the the, the chain. You think you can cut the wire with those flimsy swords? They are made of from magic silver. No way. What? What? Your left arm! There you go, Rudy is a hero. And people do not run away. I got... You know... <laughs> Rudy is in a bad shape. He... His, less, his left arm is... Is... His left arm. Can I have my left arm back? Please? I mean... Hey, Cecilia! Doing something! Yay! Let's do the magic! I don't know how Cecilia knew how to do something. Maybe the, the Guardian told her in her head. Hey, do something! Alright! This is near Adelaide! I was thinking about everyone needing to get home. I imagined the castle and the town. The next thing I knew, the theater brought us here. Okay, so you did not do a thing. Rudy! Oh yeah, Rudy's arms is hurt! Good, you didn't get lost in the dimension. Could this possibly be? Princess, Rudy's body, his arm. What's the matter? There's nothing to worry about. We'll get the magic to heal him in time. Ah. Uh. No, it can't be. Rudy's body is a machine. Yeah, we already knew that. We read the book, you know. Just like the demons, Rudy, I... I... Princess, if we don't support him in times like this, who will? Look, he's shaking. He doesn't know himself. No one wants to be an outsider, right? Well, he's just found out he is one. Rudy's been protecting us all along. We should do the same. In return. You're right. It will be okay, Rudy. Professor Emma from Adelaide should be able to help you. Let's get going, princess. She should be able to. If the old man... Uh, I don't know which one speaks. If the old man was still alive, we will know more about this. You know Rudy didn't ask for this. He is not a machine made for destruction. Alright. So hey, I lost Rudy. So yeah, this is one of my favorite part of the game. Because Rudy has some guts to, uh, you know, cut his arm. No way. I'm back on the control chair of the photosphere. I was sucked up in the gate generator. That was close. I thought I was going to be lost in another dimension. Although it's ironic that I'm back at this place of hatred. The hatred between a child and a parent. If I made it through, they probably have. Now, I have the dark theater up. With this, I will gain control of Filgaia. I and I alone will rule this world. The demon race shall reign again. <laughs> Who is this? Is someone here? Yep. Come on. Anything? <laughs> this is... This is a bad dream. Ooh. My geek is gone, child. No, get away from me. No. Whoa. Okay. My sweet Zeke. From now on, me. Okay. Was that creepy enough? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. This? Even I can't do anything about this. So you're saying that Rudy's body is? The anatomy is the same as a human. The bones, muscles, nervous system. They're all the same except for the fact that everything is artificial. It's just like the bodies of the metal demons in the legends. No way. Rudy can't be. No, not a demon. It looks like he was made by a human. 
He feels pain. He is a machine that feels pain. Why would anybody want to do that? Those things don't matter. It doesn't matter. How come I can never? Ah, how come I can never help the people I really care about? I'm sorry. I do not think. I don't know how it works, but Rudy's body is the same as a human body, except for the material that is made of. You can get herbs from Mariel in the town of Rosetta. Those herbs will probably... See? Don't give up all hope. Jack, you should take care of Rudy. The rest of you should prepare for an invasion in case of the demons try to take advantage of this situation. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Captain! Prepare the sweet candy for battle! Got it. No one can take care of, of me. Uh. Oh. No one can take me on the ocean. Ah, dark fla fla. You make us work for our friendship, Rudy. <laughs> okay, everyone. Hey, no time to sit around. Your friend needs you. Yes, he is our friend, isn't he? That's why we care so much. Are you stupid? Why would you have to think about that? What have you been fighting for? What have you? Oh, I really cannot talk. God dang it! What have you been fighting for all this time? To protect your loved ones, right? Not for some cheap, foolish destiny or mission in life. Get a clue, girl. Figure it out. I'm getting very frustrated listening to you. Thank you. I feel better. Rudy said you had a big heart. Enough! Let's go, McDonald. I've got to blow off a cannon or something. I've got to get rid of this rage. Yes, Melody. Every minute counts. Let's get to the town of Rosetta. Alright. Town of Rosetta it is. And I'm only two in my party! <laughs> no! Uh, I'm healed up. Okay, sure. That's fine. Let's go to Rosetta. Teleporting is the way to go, right? It's faster. It's faster. That's why you want to, you know, teleport. I wish I could teleport in real life. Yeah. Teleporting would be amazing. Like, let's say you want to, to go get some candies. I don't know. You teleport to the uh, dev store or candy store, whatever store. You know? Hey, Mariel. What? How? Rudy, his arm, what's happening? Jack and Cecilia tell Mariel everything to this point in their adventure. Use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is a benefit of the life within metal, buddy, that you possess, Rudy. Life within metal? How would you know, Mariel? It's a thousand... Oh, oh, really? It is a thousand year old sin. The metal that has consciousness. As you know, the demons have machines for their bodies. The elos and humans dare to step in their realm and play gods. If this was a small wound, I could do something about it with herbs. But to replace a lost arm... Yes. Nowhere in Filgaia you, can you create life within metal. Again. Uh, maybe if it were a thousand years ago, maybe then, Rudy's arms could have been... A thousand years ago? In Filgaia? How can you... Let's go to the temple in the forest mound. Deep in the forest. The elos have left a gift. Okay. Sure. Let's go. I don't have another party member. Where's my Woody? I want the Woody. So yeah, uh, like I, I said at some point, Favorite part in the game, but at the same time, sad part. Not that favorite. You know what I mean? Rudy is a badass, but I cannot use Rudy right now, so yeah. Makes me very sad. Forest Mound. Yeah, I could have teleported there. Oh well. Alright. Uh, North, I suppose. Hey, there's a temple. The Elos left Vilgaia after the wars with the demons, as it had ended. We Elos normally live in the forest. After the war, the land was no longer suitable for us. 
So we created this realm called the Hello Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this, uh, this land to another dimension. We closed the gates and this became our new home. There you can still see Figaya of a thousand years ago. And this is the gate that connects to the Hello World and Figaya. We could not even budge this thing, even with a cannon. Maybe the gate broke because of a thousand years of inactivity. That would not be good for Rudy. This gate operates on the Elo's heart and life energy. Okay. Oh. Sure. Rudy did not want you to hurt yourself, you know. The Elo lives by bonds. We bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land and enjoy nature. Uh, we will gladly give up everything to bond with those who we believe in. Rudy saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay him. Ow. Oh. But as long as you don't die, alright? Please, don't leave the mound. Vasim can... Okay. Hey, the thing is greener. The Elo Pir uh, the uh, blah, blah. the Elo Dimension is a replica of Figaya a thousand years ago. And uh Marielle. Hey Marielle, Marielle, she's bleeding badly. We need to treat her now. Okay. Can I cast eel under her? You know? The thing that Cecilia has. Hey stones. Hey nothing. There's a lot more uh trees. There's wood stumps. Where's the entrance? Ah, there it is. The humans have activated the gate, and they are here. We came to ask for your help. We, Elos, want nothing to do with you foolish humans. Please leave. We have people wounded here. Only you can cure them. Uh, one of the wounded is an Elo girl. Please let us in. She is the child of a criminal. We have no reason for us to help her. Go! Go back to your dying world! Wait, we cannot risk exposing the gate to other humans. We will take you to the village. Master Fulcanelli will decide uh, your fate. Okay. That's a weird turn of events. Please, help Rudy! He is in pain. He is in a lot of pain. What the hell did you do? He is not in pain anymore. Emiko. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Where have I heard that before? Follow me, outsider from the dying world. Where have I heard the name Emiko before? Do you guys know? <laughs> so, you want to use our power to fix this young man's left arm? Rudy is an important part of the team. We are trying to save the world. The battle with the demons has begun again. Do you trust us? The ones who are more like demons than humans? They look aside. We have to! Rudy is too important! The whole world needs him. A thousand years ago, we created this machine to combat the demons. The golems are the absolute power. Power without heart can be good or evil. The Elos and the human mage have reached into the realm of the unknown and came up with a new technology. We based this technology on demons we captured. We used the living metals and adapted it to the human physiology. An artificial biometal was created. It was the pro it was called the Project Home Cross. Uh, it was called Project Home. Uh, it was called Home Cross Project. Ah, oh, god dang it! Artificial life that can survive under any condition. This Home Cross is the ultimate enhancement to many different kinds of arms. It synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the physic. Ah. Uh, thus enhancing the psychic power of the arm. But, the Own Cross enjoyed killing so much 
they literally became a killing machine. Was it the blood of the demons, or was it man's just for conflict? A uh, lust. Was it man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure. We deployed Home Cross. Ah, come on! The deployed Home Cross were destroyed. There is, however, one Home Cross left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. Rudy is not a killing machine. He has a bigger heart than anyone I know. The time he spent as a human gave him a pure heart. Is that what you're saying? Rudy... Oh, come on, I can't talk. I need to drink. Rudy used to travel with an old man called Zepet. Zepet had a kind heart, and it was he who kept Rudy from turning into a weapon. He kept Rudy's heart pure. You're telling me, after a thousand years, this man unleashed the experimental machine. But it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. Those powers were lost to us long ago. Then Rudy is... There is nothing we can do. Hmm. The Guardian Blade. Mariel, you must rest. The Guardian Blade has a life of its own. I bet its power could... Go to Brother Vassim and use the Guardian Blade on Rudy. What in the world are you saying? The Guardian Blade! It went out of control and disappeared. But not before it took half of Filgaia with it. You know the Sun Ocean that starts from Rosetta and cuts across the land? That was the, res the result of the untrained and refined Guardian Blade of Vasim. Mariel stayed he there, alone to pay for her brother's sin. He is working to turn the Sun Ocean back to normal. We can't afford to make the same mistake again. Ah, that's not face palm, that was Emiko. Uh, if we don't do, uh, if we do nothing, then that is what Filgaia will be. Nothing. If we run now, we will live like weaklings for the rest of our lives. I don't want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. Vasim lives in the forest to the southwest. There, he can live without being exposed to us. He is the only one that can possibly repair the arm. If not, it will destroy us all. Please take me with you. I want to share some of what I've learned with him. Do you still want us to make the Guardian Blade? It's going to take a miracle. We have lost much of our uh, 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 uh. we have lost much of our technology to time. That evil sword. Miracles only have value if you can do it yourself. It is absolutely true. Okay. That makes sense, actually. Miracles don't occur easily. If it can be done, it will probably be done by a human. The guardians of Filgaia. The, the guardian of Filgaia is a human. Huh. Is he now? Please hold on. Our wishes will make you well again. Oh, he comes with us. Okay. I cannot I cannot use the the radar. I cannot use the radar. I I I cannot use the radar. This is bad. All right. Uh yeah. <laughs> so, I took some uh, medicine for my cold and apparently my my voice is much better. Uh, right after taking medicine like it's, it's magic I don't know why like it, it's weird anyways hey there's a squirrel so yeah I was uh, I was talking to the squirrel and he told me many things like there was an agile apple in here and agile apple yeah hello koala what do you want? I want to save. 
Oh, so a thousand years ago, the parrots were koalas. So koalas became parrots over the course of evolution. Evolution, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Alright, can I have more stuff? Maybe I should wait until I can have Rudy back. Uh, but I don't know if this place will be cut off to me. That's the thing. I don't know. That's the sad thing. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a change that humans are visiting over village. Yeah. Can we have weapon? Do you have a weapon shop? What is this? What is this? It must be destiny that the ancient treasure blah 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 blah. I don't care. I want... I want stuff. So is there really no shop in here? It will make sense if they want to live in peace. By the way, I'm stalling for time right now because, uh, you know, I'm about to end the video. Uh, and the next dungeon is gonna be a thing. Because uh, I remember being lost in there for the love of me. Uh, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to grab. Another squirrel! The squirrel don't want to play. Hey, Mega Berry, nice. No shop. There are no monsters in the Hello World. We sealed them in a place far from here, located to the southeast or southwest. I forget. I did not take time to read properly. All right, let's let's leave the world, go to the next dungeon, and. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video, right? I mean, I could check the barrels and everything, but I don't know. Like, like I, I prefer to have Rudy to, to search. Hey, a blue ribbon. Nice. Can I equip this on Cecilia, please? Yes, I can. And it's better than what I just bought for her. Well, oh well. So, they say there's no random encounters except to the southeast or southwest. Hey, so this is a floating land, which is kind of weird. Uh, I bet Vasim is somewhere. Forest Mount, that's the way back. Okay, cool. Uh, can I teleport? Oh, okay. I see how it is. I cannot come back to the normal field. Yeah, yeah. My, my magic is not strong enough. So yeah, I need to go through the forest prison. It was Southwest, by the way. Uh, but this dungeon is a thing, like I said. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here for this video. I would like to thank you for watching, and join me next time on Let's Wild Arms! Bye-bye!